All right, so what's going on? It's your boy. It's your boy, Kindred. So there I was on my bed thinking what to upload on Sunday. Do we go for the cactus shortcut in Dingo Canyon or the big boy cut in Potter Pass? Well, both aren't really required for the dev times. So let's just think of these as supplementary lessons or extra lessons. Anyway, so cactus cut in Dingo Canyon. Um, I will present to you two methods. Two methods. First one is the safe one, which doesn't require you to do any U-turns. And then the second one requires you to pull off the Ultra Turn tech. Just a heads up. Once you get SF, which is second and third lap, you are always going to be relying on the second method. So, if you want to play it safe for the first lap, then be my guest. But be sure to also learn the second method, okay? So, first one, here we go. And as you can see on my controller, we didn't press the reverse button whatsoever so similar to i mean in general safe play requires us to just make more space before entering a shortcut or a specific path right and see what i did here i entered it from entered it quite far and i wasn't approaching it from a corner i'm not approaching it from a corner so what you have to do is just start here, power slide immediately, and then around that path, you time your boost, then jump, make sure you have a little bit of airtime, that is significant, so that you can skip more of the slowdown, and then just jump, just spam the jump button, well not really spam, I mean just press it whenever you see Dingo Dell landing, okay? So that you can minimize the slowdown on the shortcut. Jump, 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 jump. And then the second method... Mm, where is it? Second method, we immediately try to hug the corner here. As you can see, we are going to power slide to the right side immediately. And then jump, make sure to have a little bit of airtime again. And then the moment you land, you will gain a boost from the airtime. Jump, jump, jump. And as you have noticed, we press the U-turn buttons there. Because if I didn't, if I didn't press the U-turn buttons, I will be going straight to this rock. Or if I just press the right button and then just jump, I won't be able to hug this wall efficiently or we we might even still bump into this rock or to this cactus instead so just remember that you only have to press the user buttons once here and then once you get here you just need to press the cover if you feel like you're going to go straight here so then just keep jumping. I pressed the U-turn buttons there because I was dodging the armadillo. And, I, and I'm using speed here, by the way. If I didn't, I might... We might hit the armadillo. Alright, so, quick example with Sacred Fire. Let's... Okay, lap two. There we go. As you can see, I'm still trying to hug the corner here. Then jump. We get the boost from airtime. Jump as much as possible to minimize the slowdown, and then here I press the user buttons. Oops, that was too quick. There we go. Press the user buttons to prevent bumping into the rock. And just do it that way. So basically, that's it to do the Ningo Canyon shortcut. Um, what are the advantage of this? What are the advantages of this? You may ask. Well, it might help you dodge the item wars online since majority of the people might play it safe and then just go for the wide curve or the shortcut 
that is easier. The one at the left, of the, the one at the left of the cactus. So not only it will help you get safer from item wars, um, it will also improve your time in Dingo Canyon. Anyway, so if you learned anything from this video, feel free to leave a like, comment, and if you want to see more like of this, then subscribe. That will be it. See ya guys.